finishing chapter four and starting chapter five. Claim those rewards. More speeching. Speeching. I like to do this when a kingdom first opens. The problem is kingdom opens at 9 p.m. my time. So it is now almost 11. And I'm normally asleep by now. So forgive any slurring and stumbling in my words. So. Sorry's on the way. Chapter 5, Researching Tech. Okay. I don't remember doing that, but... Oh, well. So, I haven't hunted a level 6 monster, but while I was doing the campaign, Chapter 4, I got enough frags to activate Scarlet, so that counts. Right, so now I need to... Build the Institute, research March Speed, increase my units, clear Chapter 5, upgrade a Hero to 31, research Infantry, and upgrade Castle to 5. Which I really should have started earlier. Need the Wall, the Farm, and a Recruiting Center. So, I need the Warehouse to level 4. Yes. As your castle increases, you get a bonus towards building, so I can upgrade for free. Yeah. So. Upgrade. Upgrade. That's going to take some time. And it was also, what, the recruiting center? Actually, let's take a moment and see what else I can upgrade for free. It's always good to check that. Nope, no, wait, that wants diamonds. And I save my diamonds for other things. Alright, now as I'd mentioned, I'd unlocked... Scarlet, or whatever her name is. So I need to come here and change my. Yes, Scarlet. And as a three star, she's much better. So we'll swap her out. And I think I'm going to rearrange my team a little bit. So as I'd mentioned earlier, you know, in the arena, your enemy gains MP when you hit him with gems. So you want your, in general, it's better to have your healers in this kind of, you don't want them in the very front because then they're likely to die quickly. That's usually the first one to go. So the next position is best because that way if someone's going for, to hit this hero, you're likely to get some gems there. They hit this hero, you're likely to get some gems there. And it's just generally considered better. I'm going to check my record while I'm at it. And I haven't been doing well. That's okay. We're up to 24 people in the arena. <clears throat> anyway. That's not what you're here for. You're here for this. So upgrade. Upgrade. And now that I have an alliance, I can ask for help. And we'll see if others help me. Alrighty. And... Upgrade. Free upgrade. I need an infirmary level 4 to upgrade my ranged. So let's go ahead and get an infirmary up to level 4. 
Now, infirmaries are where your wounded go. Um, upgrading increases capacity. So, if you hit the little exclamation mark in the upper corner, you can see a level 1 infirmary gives me 3,000, and these do stack. So, if I had... Let's see what... Okay, so a level 5 infirmary gives you 5,000. If you had two level 5 infirmaries, that would give you 10,000. So... There's that. Let's get that built and upgraded. I can do free a couple of times. Alrighty. So now let's get my ranged up to four. And here's where we start to have fun. We can promote these troops. These lower level troops. You see this little... You're looking at this one. Just You just have the train, train now, whatever. If you go to a lower one, you get this arrow that appears. You click on the arrow, it opens the promote unit screen. And so you can promote the smaller troops to a higher T level. It takes less... If they already exist, it takes less time and resources to promote as opposed to training new. However, if you were to train T1s and then promote them to T2s, it's just the same thing, costs the same, and would end up taking the same amount of time, actually a little bit more, as just directly training T2s. So we'll get those promoted. And then how many troops were we looking for? Total units reach a thousand. Okie dokie. So we can train up to 150 now. I again I like to get things to even amount, so we'll go with 160 for now. Oh, that's going to take forever, huh? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I want to get this done for y'all. So we'll use these speed-ups. We'll get the ranged. Okay, now as you can see, this gives me... Okay, sorry, I went a little too fast there. I clicked on the war banner. And so I've got 900 total units. Um, we really don't need to worry about the hourly food cost right now. You can see I've got one march queue. None of them are out. I don't have any traps yet, and I don't have any wounded. And apparently I've... Not entirely sure how I've got enough space for 40,000 wounded. That's a bit confusing. That must be some benefit of it being a new, new castle. And that'll change later or something. Anyway. So I got the castle going. I also need to build my institute. I like to put my, in, I like to put my institute here. And I said I've got multiple castles. By putting everything in the same spot, it's easy for me to find stuff. Now let's see if we can upgrade... We can get it up to there. And then let's go ahead and upgrade again. And then while we're waiting on that, we'll collect some resources from finishing quests. Yippee. And then, oh, I forgot about the bulletin. What element is water strong and weak against? Water is blue. And you might remember from the intro thing, blue is strong against red, which is fire. So, again, participant and winner award, go me. 
and I can do it again in four minutes. Now, while I'm waiting for that, because you can't do any research while it's being, while it's building, let's see if I can build some of these other. Now, I can't build it, but since I've got the free, I can do that. Free. Oh, no, wait, I need the lumber camp two for that. So we'll hold off on that for a minute. Um, what requirements do I need for the, okay, I need a level nine castle to get the market and a level eight for the blacksmith. And I already know a level five for that and a level six for the hall of war. So let's, Oh, I do get, there was a quest for building a trap workshop, so we can go ahead and get that. That's one of the odd things. Sometimes it won't, despite the fact that you've completed a quest, you can't collect it until you've completed something else, and it doesn't really tell you. So, you know, whereas before it was lining them all up, now it's just showing it like that. So, sometimes you'll, you'll clear a quest and suddenly you can collect rewards for 15 of them all at once now i need a lumber camp so we will go ahead and look, again since we've got the free we'll do that and that gets me to level three and what did i need to upgrade the trap workshop just level two level three so i've got my trap up and collect that for building the institute. Now I need to research march speed, clear campaign. Oh, and I still need 100, 100 troops. So we'll do 50 each because it'll be faster. And I'm just trying to get this done. Oh, and I can also train traps now. Let's go ahead and build some traps. Um, again, exclamation point. I can build boulders and stone towers. I, somewhere there is something that tells you what each one is effective. Oh, you no. Nope. Well, this it just says the launch traps are good against cavalry, arrow towers against ranged, and ground traps against infantry. Which isn't, I've seen a better screen somewhere, but I can never find it when I'm looking for it. Anyway, is that I like to. Annoying thing is that. Okay, so let's talk about this. You can set the number you want to build. And then you can lock it. And then it'll always do that. What I hate is that the trap workshop and the barracks share that. So now, um, you know. So if I set this to 150. And let's go ahead and get the others going. So they can cook while I do other things. And then let's go ahead and speed this up. That done. Alrighty. Oh, did they fix that? Maybe they fixed that. Or maybe it's because I haven't switched to castles. I know when I'm when I'm castle hopping, switching between my castles. Um if I set the barracks to say a thousand and my trap workshop can only do 300, that's what it'll show. It's very annoying. Oh, I can do that again. And fire is strong and weak against fire is red. 
We know red is good against green. Green is Gale. So that one. And that's another quiz down. Now then, we've got the troops. We need to research march speed and infantry. So march speed is probably under military. There we go. We'll research that. And speed it up because I'm, again, patience is a virtue. I don't have. You'll hear me say that a lot. And then what's the other thing we need to research? Infantry HP. Level 1 infantry HP. That would be that one. Alrighty. And I go up another lower level. So... That just leaves letting the castle finish cooking, clearing champ, cam clearing campaign chapter five, and upgrading a hero to level thirty-one. So now that I have Scarlet, I want I do want to go ahead and take you into campaign for this to show you this now. crushing foe but they don't do anything extra now, as you can see i've swapped out scarlet or you know i swapped in scarlet for garnet like i did in the arena because scarlet has a very interesting special skill she deals 316 damage and silences them for four rounds what that means is if the enemy uses mp for a special skill If they reach their MP max while under silence, they can't use their special skill. It can come in very much in handy. So let's do this. Just to show you how it goes. It would be better against... Um, It would be better in a chapter or a scene where where more of them have MP, but we're coming up on, I think, 18 minutes of filming now, and I'm trying to keep these from being too long. So, oh, I need to heal because Nax is about to croak. Honestly, healing is something, unless everybody's full, is something you should probably do as soon as your healer is ready. I just, I get distracted. You know, squirrel. That's not really doing me any good. I need something that will hit him. Alright, we're, we're just going to use Hendrick and move on. Alrighties. Like I said, these early stages, it's, it's not... As long as you... Upgrade your... Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I, I upgraded most of my hero... A number of my heroes to 30. I'm using the three stars. I'll show you the improvements when I'm done with this. Okay. So. We'll go ahead and hit them first so that I can demonstrate... Make sure we demonstrate how this works. Okay, so you can see his MP is climbing. Max is dead. <clears throat> so I use Scarlet, and now he's got this little white thing with the three, two, two dots. I guess it's two dots. My glasses aren't working too well. That indicates he's under silence. So now he cannot use his ability. And we're going to go ahead and... So it went dark because he couldn't use it, and then I ended up killing him before he could really see, but hopefully you get the gist. Victory, and now I'm going to show you how I've been upgrading my hero Scarlet because of that silent being so, so useful. I'm focusing on trying to get her to 30. Oh, Eerie, I apparently picked up some more frags somewhere.
so I can enhance her. And then I can upgrade, evolve somebody. So we'll go with another level three Hendrick. We'll evolve him. And okay. I will return when I'm about done with chapter five.